Here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Morning guys, it is uh, just before five in the morning. Flight leaves at 8.30. I went to the airport a while back, I didn't vlog it, and I asked them face to face if I could take the trike as a mobility device, which means it's like a like a wheelchair. Sort of the same way I tried it on the Shinkansen. And they gave me the thumbs up. So uh, we we're gonna ride the trike to the airport, put the trike on the plane at the airport, and then hope for the best. I was able to take my side bags and then cram them into my panniers so I have everything that I carry is in these two panniers and in my backpack. This room has been really nice actually. I had one bed for all my shit and then one bed for my, my myself and then we had a uh, bathroom and shower and a laundry area which is fantastic to do my clothes and a, and a shower and a little little kitchen area and a fridge it was nice this was a nice place nice place to cap off japan but ugh. People are uh, coming home from the bar. It's uh, 5.22 in the morning on a Tuesday. Jayo. I was never much of a late night party until the early morning kind of guy. I'll tell you what, I am really going to miss Japan. This has been a lot of fun. I hope, man, that uh, the rest of the world is like this. I have a feeling Taiwan is going to be really nice too. We'll see. Every every country has its own flavor. And so far we've got China, we've got Korea, and we've got Japan pretty much locked down. I'll be riding again in China as I connect Taiwan to Vietnam, so I'll have to ride through China. But uh, that won't happen for a little while. We are actually winding the trip down into idle mode for a while while I spend the holidays with family. It's actually kind of nice riding uh, at like 5.30 in the morning. You, can, you pretty much own the roads. I did a bunch of really early morning rides and riding through the night in, uh, in China. And that was always fun. Oh, snorkeling. I was supposed to go snorkeling today. I had it all set up. I uh, was gonna be there at seven on the boat, get in a beautiful snorkeling session, uh, and then I checked my flight. <laughs> I realized that my flight was not in the early evening, which is what I thought it was, five o'clock. I don't know why I thought it was at five o'clock. I think there was two flights going out today and uh, I thought for some reason that I had picked the five o'clock one but I picked the early one and so kind of missed out on uh, on seeing Okinawa from the uh, from under the water what are you gonna do maybe me and Annie will take Eva out to some place and swim <laughs> All right, folks, we're here. I will catch up with you a little bit later. Wish me luck. All right, guys, we are at Peach Airlines. Trike's all folded up. Everything's consolidated. I'm waiting for the gates to open. Hope, <laughs> I'm really nervous. My friend Sylvia, she travels with trikes all the time and does this. She puts them on as a mobility device like a wheelchair and they accept them they put them right under the plane so i'm hoping that i can 
do the same. All right, guys, the trike is behind the check-in counter. They didn't know what to do with it, honestly. It was no problems. It was super nice. They just had no idea what to do with it. They were staring at it when I left with other people like, how the hell are we gonna get this on the plane? But I just folded it up, strapped the chair to it, and they didn't charge me a dime. Anyways, security check next. And then and then it, we're really and then we're really good. We are in. We are done. It's so nice. For once, I'll be able to start speaking Chinese again. I've been stuck not being able to use any of my Chinese. It's gonna be nice. Taiwan, I have a 60, about 50 to 60 kilometers to ride in, in uh, Taiwan. We'll get there early in the morning. I'll be able to slap the bags on. We'll be on the road. Chaiyo. All right, the airline that I'm on, it's called Peach. And so far, they are what my mom would say, peachy keen. Quick, easy, happy. I'm very curious to see how that trike went on to this plane. Do you hear the sound that that uh, airplane is making? It does not instill confidence. Not at all. Rickety, the word rickety comes to mind. That one sounds much better. And there's the trike. I can see it. That's okay. I, I want to see my bicycle go in. Oh, right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Better be careful. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit complicated. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's good, it's good. It's very strong. It's very strong, so it's okay. Just. Somebody's <laughs> 14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, Frank. Thank you, thank you. Bye, Japan. Side benefit to uh, using the trike as a mobility device, they they assume that I'm not able, and so they bump my seat up to a 1A. been to Taiwan quite a few times never with the trike though but I just checked outside it's raining I was not thinking about weather in Taiwan I wasn't really thinking that that direction either way the trike is here I am here and that's the important thing K 
take so far. The question is, where is the tiger duck? Tiger duck is a nickname for my trike. It comes from a uh, cartoon character in uh, Germany. The guys at HP actually called my my uh, my trike a tiger duck. They said it looks really close to that character. Go online on Google and look up tiger duck. And you'll see why. Yeah, yeah. It's upside down, but it's okay. All right, let's inspect this thing. Side view mirror is a little loose, that's okay. Tires are inflated. All good. Oh, cool. I'm gonna get my first meal in Taiwan. Some uh, Subway, foot long tuna, everything on it. All right, guys. Um, I'm gonna slap the trike together. It's wet outside, so I'm not really gonna do much video unless it clears up. I'll catch up with you when I catch up with you. <laughs> hey guys, well, <laughs> welcome to Taiwan. It's rainy and they did not let me leave the airport on the trike, which was sort of a frustrating, veiled, good thing in disguise because instead I threw the trike underneath the bus and now I'm in central Taiwan. It, it is totally rainy. I wouldn't have really liked to do 50 kilometers in this weather anyway, so now I'm just gonna be doing 10 to my friend's house. I'm staying at a at a Jayo Nation uh, uh, supporter, and uh, so we're gonna meet him for lunch. Like, I'm shocked. <laughs> I, am, I am shocked by the behavior of these drivers. It's shocking. I've, I've been polluted because I've been in Japan for so long. They don't even care. They cut you off, they cut in front of you, they, they merge over, they use two lanes. They, they have no idea that you're here compared to, and I thought that, I thought it was pretty good. Before I had uh, started this tour, I thought, well, I know, I know. But man, oh man, I've been polluted by kindness. Maybe not kindness, but just awareness. It's like I'm in a video game here, fighting for my life. I used to have eyes in the back of my head. I think Japan has kind of recessed those eyes. Like a, oh, that was a horn. That was the first horn I've heard in a long time. <laughs> so funny. Oh, I just ran past somebody, it was raining, I couldn't pull the camera out. And she looked at me, she's like, how are you? I says, oh, good? She's like, where did you finish? I says, what do you mean? She's like, I watch your videos. I, I'm sorry, I don't remember your name. I was like, wow. I'm not even here an hour. And somebody recognizes me. No more riding in the streets as much as I used to. No more relying on people to make the right decision. I have to be much more aware. Noise, chaos. E-bikes are now motorized, there's motorbikes. Loud noises. All right. Out of danger. Well, out of danger on a trike. Now we're in danger as pedestrians. And uh, I'm hanging out with a friend of mine, Dave. David. Who just disappeared. David has allowed me to stay in his place, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hang with him and we're gonna enjoy a little bit of Taiwan for the next couple of days until uh, I've gotta go back. And then when I come back, we'll hook up again. Now, Dave has an interesting story that we will communicate more about a little bit later. But we're hungry, we're gonna get some food. Sounds good? Everybody, this is Dave. Hey. <laughs> Where are we gonna eat for lunch? Uh, we are gonna eat in a place called Nangan. Nanga. Nanga. Right. You lead the way.
Now David has an interesting story. W what do you do here? Uh, I'm uh, working on uh, bringing a uh, product to the world called Podride, which is a four-wheel e-bike uh, that looks like a car. It's a fully enclosed e-bike. It's pretty neat. There is only one in the world at the moment. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's in the prototype phase. Oh, that's kind of nice how connections are made. <laughs> I mean, how you've been following me for how many years then? Uh, I would say uh, coming up to two years. And now we're sitting and eating <laughs> noodles <laughs> in Taiwan. We're going to check out some things. He's going to introduce me to some people in the cycling industry. You guys don't know this, maybe. Most people probably don't know it, but Taiwan is an, an extremely important cog in the production of cycles. I mean, Absolutely. bicycles, tricycles, quads, yes. everything. I mean, the, as a matter of fact, the HP Velotechnic makes their frames here. And what else is made here? I mean, uh, everything from brakes to uh, wheels uh, to tires and yeah, yeah, there's, there's yeah, just just everything. There's like in one area uh, near Taichung, which is in central Taiwan, there's about 1,300 companies in a very small area that all make up the bike supply chain. So he's gonna give me some leads, him and some friends of his, yeah, and. Uh, I think what we're going to do is the theme of Taiwan is going to be how bikes are built. Okay. You know, when I watched, uh, you know Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood? Yes. Uh, you know, he, he taught, never saw it as a he taught you how to tie your shoes yeah. and you know, like, it's uh, everything good in the neighborhood and everything in it. And one of the things that he had was he took and he taught people how things were made. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to go to a chair factory. We're gonna, it was American factories right. at that time. And for me that was really amazing to see how things were made. It was one of the things that actually made China so cool for me because I could come here and actually go into a wool factory and see how things were made. It was really interesting. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to make Taiwan how bikes are made, you know? And, you know, and hopefully we can connect with some people and as I go around Taiwan we can kind of investigate what goes into making that thing that might be sitting in your garage or, or whatever, you know? Uh, so that's kind of cool. We're, we're finishing up our lunch right now. Tonight we're going to have some hot, hot pot. pot. And uh, this hot pot place is going to be actually pretty cool. Yes. Like free flowing beer, all sorts of meat that you could ever want. It's, and it's perfect. And Hagen das ice cream. Hagen das ice cream. And how much does it cost? Uh, it's about $20, $20 US. 20 bucks. What are we going to do now? You can go back to the house? Uh, we can go grab a coffee and maybe yeah, meet, meet your friend. Meet your friend. Yeah. All right, let's go grab a coffee. Oh, coffee. Think this is yours? I hope it's yours. Or we're just stealing people's coffees. Starbucks in Taiwan. <laughs> you realize that's the second time I've said that phrase? For the first one I said Starbucks in China. I keep calling China Taiwan and Taiwan China. The Taiwanese are hating me for that, and the Chinese are loving me for that. <laughs> All right, guys, it's a little bit later. We are going for some hot pot. And I want to introduce you to somebody. This is Angel. Say hello. Say hello. Huh? <laughs> David's little girl. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to all my friends on YouTube. I don't see her. See? They're all inside there. Right inside there, say hello. Where? They're right there. Say hello. <laughs> Daddy, I don't sit with her. Okay, you sit her. Yeah. I'm not a her. You I'm a him. Single-handedly playing the the no talk game. How old are you? Seven. You're two. Two years old. You're one year old. You're you're a fist. You're zero. Wow, that's pretty cool. Why are we not going in there right now? Why? Because the timer on the food starts from when you sit down at the table. You've got two hours before you can eat Ooh, and drink. Boy, <laughs> you do not want to mess with those numbers. <laughs> you want to maximize efficiency. 
How much are you going to eat enough food that you can fill the boot? How many boots of food will you eat? You'll eat 10 boots? All right guys, hot pot. You've seen me do hot pot once before, but this one's a little bit different. We got two hours to have as much fixins as possible from the looks of it. It's quite good. See, Annie and I normally order a table's worth of condiments and things to put inside of the hot pot, but in this case, you get as much as you want. Seafood, entrail, more seafood, vegetables, more seafood, noodles, desserts, eggs, haagen ice cream. Can drink, pour your own beer. How cool is that? <laughs> That's very cool. So, are you gonna spend all your time here, or are you gonna do hot? I'll stay here. Okay, okay, okay. Now, one of the best parts of hot pot is the style of dipping sauce that you have, because you can have like all sorts of different things that you put in the soup, but it's what you dip the stuff in after you take it out of the soup that really makes hot pot hot pot. Now, me, I don't do a lot of kissing after uh, I go to hot pot because I just load up on the garlic. But we got, whoa, wasabi, hot pepper sauce, cilantro, which is my favorite, and then uh, meat sauce, and, a, oh. Cheers, buddy. Thank you, sir. Welcome to Taiwan. Thank you. What's your favorite uh, sauce mixture? So you gotta start with some barbecue sauce as the base. All right, Australian in you. And then uh, a little bit of white vinegar. A dash of garlic. A little bit of radish. Some spring, spring onion, onions. and then some egg white. Uh, not egg white, egg yolks. Interesting, I never saw the egg yolk thing. To each his own. It's good. <laughs> All right guys, I'm gonna start drinking and eating. I'll talk to you later. I'll just put it in. This class, class, what did you get? Oh, this is uh, uh, different kinds of meat. Oh, yeah. There's a ribs, uh, uh, ribs and fat, uh, short ribs. Wow. And it's, uh, it's, uh, the way it works is here. It's uh, all you can eat, so you just basically uh, grab it. Oh, nice. Right Perfect. And then we've got tomato. This is no, no, tomato? This tomato. And, this and then is that's hot. the hot. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> hot, hot, hot. Tell you what, man. This <laughs> this hot pot is the this is the way to go. I'm a buffet lover. I, I lived in Vegas for five years, so buffets are the way to go for me. You eat as much as you can, as quick as you can. One thing, we eat a big house hamburger. <laughs> That's true. She's a Jayo Nation fan right here. <laughs> I do like a big hamburger. All right, Angel wants to show us something. What do you got? What what is the flavor of your ice cream? Can I show them in the camera? We have some purple ice cream and some white ice cream. What's the purple ice cream called? Blueberry. Blueberry. That's blue. What is the white ice cream called? Strawberry cheesecake. Strawberry cheesecake. Ooh, really good. It that sounds like very tasty. She's a little actress. Are you sure? Yeah. Alright guys, we have finished dinner. It's 10 07. 10, right? Yeah, 10 o'clock. Yep. I don't know if my phone changed. Oh boy. We put in two hours, two solid hours. We should all be proud of ourselves. <laughs> this is maybe my new favorite place to eat. Until tomorrow night. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> 
All right, guys, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna end this vlog. It's kind of gone a long ways from Okinawa to here, so take it easy, Jayo. I'll see you tomorrow when we'll be doing some other things. I gotta edit a bunch of videos, so we'll talk to you later. Jayo. 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 Say Jayo. Jayo. Say Jayo.